let me show you how to make a product image like this move and keep the attention of your viewer. Let's go. Inside of Canva, you can select any size of canvas that you like. In this case, I'll use Instagram Reel. The first element I added was a circle. You'll move it off the screen just a little bit and you'll want to adjust it with your branding color. Next, under elements, you'll want to look for the frames and look for the frame that is most like a rectangle. I used the frame that has the rounded corners. You can use whichever frame you like and you're just gonna place it right on top of the circle, not quite at the halfway point. Once you have that frame placed, you'll duplicate the frame and you'll rotate that frame 90 degrees. You'll duplicate that frame and rotate it as well for another 90 degrees and you'll do this one extra time giving you a total of four frames. On the left side of your screen where it says uploads, be sure that you've uploaded some product images that we will place into these frames. Because we've already oriented the frames, you can just drag these over and the pictures will automatically be oriented in their correct position. Let's add some words down here at the bottom. So I'll go over to text on the left side of my screen. You can find whatever text and fonts you'd like to use. This is what I have been using and I'll just keep the word sale and you'll want to change these colors for your branding colors. For this text also, you can, if you choose to, animate this text. I like to use the flicker feature, and I'll do this for each of those words. And now I'm ready to move on to the next slide. What I need to do first, so that everything stays in the correct position, is I'm going to highlight one of these images, press my shift key, highlight the others. Oops, let me make sure I capture all of them so they're all outlined in purple. There we go. And I'll group them together. Now at the bottom of my screen, I'm going to add a page, but in this case, I'm going to click on the three dots in the first page and I'm going to duplicate the page. On my duplicated page, I'm going to take that group of pictures and I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees. I'll follow those same steps for two more pages. Duplicate the page. On the third page, I'll rotate this 90 degrees. And I'll duplicate this page and rotate this image another 90 degrees. Now, to get this to move by itself, in between each of these pages. Actually, let me shorten the duration. Instead of five seconds, let me shorten this down to two seconds per page. There we go. In between each of these pages, if I hover my mouse, I'll be able to add a transition and I will select match and move. You can play with the timing for speed to find what is going to work best for you. So I think that particular speed works pretty well. I'm going to apply that between all of my pages. And what it does is it looks for this first image. This one says beer bread and it looks for it in the second image and it will automatically move it. And it looks like a smooth transition. That's why it makes it look like a wheel that's turning, that match and move. It's looking where is it placed in the second slide and it makes this smooth transition. Okay, so we have those four. Our wheel is spinning. And now for our last page, I don't have a match and move here because I'm going to use different products. So for this case, you can add in some elements. Try bubbles. We'll just try some shapes here and I'll change the colors to my branding colors now let me find three products that I want to have drop from the top 
So I'll go back over to uploads. Here are three products. So for each of these products, when I pull it in, I'm going to edit the photo and because I have the pro version, I'll remove the background, size it however I want, whatever size I want it to be. Let me add in all three of these, edit the photo, remove the background. And one more. Edit the photo, remove the background. Okay, so I have my three products that are separate from the wheel that I did. So I'm now really showing seven products in this reel. Let me inch these up just a little bit. So I'm gonna group these together. Again, hold shift and highlight each of those products to group them together. And now I'm going to go and create a custom animation. So at the top where it says animate, I'm gonna create an animation on the left-hand side. Oop, before I do that, let me start it up at the top because I want it to drop down. All right, so I start with it at the top. I create an animation. I'm gonna press shift so that I'm making a straight line and I'm just gonna drop it straight down. You see that dotted line, that's, that's my animation. Perfect, I can change the speed if I like. I am gonna click on smooth on the left side of my screen. I'm gonna click on smooth just to make sure it's a smooth transition down. I wanna speed it up just a little bit. There we go, done. Let's see how that looks, perfect. Okay, that's where it's stopping. I'm going to put a shadow here. So under elements, I'll go to shadow. Oops. And these are, you'll find the pro versions here. So if you're a free user, here's a free version. Let me bring these down. And I'll make three of these, one for each product. I'm gonna group these together in case I have to move them. All right, let's see if those land in the right place. Yep, look, that's pretty good. I might even move it up just a smidge. Perfect. So now I need to add um, a little bit of text right under the shadows. All right, let's see how, and we, of course we wanna make this also maybe a little bit longer, but not too, too long. So we'll make this one 3.7. Now let's see how this looks so far. It's turning, perfect, perfect, perfect. And then there's my drop down. Now, if you'd like to add music at this point, you can always come up here into elements and um, try something, upbeat music, and then go over here to audio and select from one of these. Again, you'll need the pro version for this music. If not, and you wanna just download this and upload it into Instagram or TikTok or wherever you're putting it and add music from that source, that's perfectly fine. But this is how you use the match and move tool inside of Canva to create a fun, engaging, scroll stopping product reel for your business. If you'd like additional help on how to create scroll stopping content or how to use digital tools for your business, Join me over inside the Social Tech Academy, where I help direct sellers and small business owners learn how to use digital tools every day.